Funny, somebody said to me this morning when I got to work, when I got to the park, one of the parks in town, they says, man, it sure was cold this morning, a eh? minus two degrees Celsius. And then I asked them, where do you guys live? And they said Blackburn. Well, it makes sense because the low temperature here was 2.9 degrees Celsius, not minus two degrees Celsius. And I told the people, uh, the person, there was actually a couple of people there. I said, just because the temperature is that at your place or in a certain area does not mean the temperature is that all over the island. It's not the same. It's different. I said, topography, elevation, and distance from the ocean plays a big role in the climate. So I'm going to let you guys know right here at this end of the island, our last frost that I recorded was February 14th. Okay. That was the last temperature of zero degrees Celsius. We've had nothing to zero degrees Celsius since February 14th, but that doesn't mean we couldn't get it still. It just hasn't happened since then. So anyway, I keep an eye on the weather. Uh, there's one of our weather boxes. We have two uh, Stevenson screen uh, weather boxes. There's one right there. There's a Stevenson screen and I have uh, remote sensors in there and I also have a minimum max glass which is very accurate and then um, there's a tiki I just carved by the way that's going to Tofino. Wendy wanted to keep the other one. Wendy wanted to keep this one that I'm supposed to be taking to Tofino so I carved another one so that's eucalyptus that's eucalyptus white gum or dollar and pliana mountain gum so that one she wanted to keep she said it looks like it's got arms on it Sorry, folks, I'm changing the subject now. And then there's the one I just carved. That's eucalyptus as well. Seed grown from, uh, from our own stock here. So anyway, um, and then there's our other Stevenson screen out the back here. And it actually gets a little bit cooler down there than uh, where the other one is. Because that's downside a slope, right? So they're the right height off the ground. And uh, it measures accurate temperatures. The uh, sun does not get onto the thermometer. So anyway, the subtropical garden here. Subtropical like garden is thriving. All right, just thriving. Everything is really happy. See the growth on the loquats and uh, So much more Sun now that the eucalyptus and the big cedar is gone So anyway, I could bring those bananas out. There's bananas inside the house. There's sago palms out here and stuff and everything's pretty happy So far so anyway, I'll keep you updated if we do get a frost But it doesn't look like we're gonna get any frost at this end of the island But you know what? I bet you tomorrow morning when I get to work. I will be scraping frost there's a lot of frost at one of our parks works here. Two of our parks works here. There's always a lot of frost. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos here. And remember, do not put your thermometer in the sun, okay? That's completely false reading. This one's reading uh, 70, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about uh, 10 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Sorry, 10 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about, uh, well, 70 degrees Fahrenheit is around 20 Celsius. So in the shade, it right now is about 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, so it's 10 degrees Celsius in the shade. But in the sun, if you put your thermometer in the sun, it gives you completely false reading. So I always put your thermometer in the shade. So high temperatures are always taken from the shade. And uh, frosts are recorded at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So I hope that helps you out, folks. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos here on this channel. Cheers.